Turn on audio. Hello and welcome to Dog Pound D and D, where for the first time in this campaign, the audio has been on when I flipped over to the live scene. So we're off to a great start. We have our full cast here below us: Dorbar, Garen, Vinny, Hermes, Roby, who you have not met before, and Whimsy. Last time. The party found themselves on a boat, which was pirates, I believe, attacked you. Yes. Pirates attacked them. They were able to fend off the pirates with the help of the crew. And the instructor, which instructor helped you guys? Uthel. That would have been Uthel. Uthel. Uthel helped yeah. you. They were able to make it to the school on the island. Does anybody remember what the name of the school was? Maris? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So they find themselves at Maris University, where they've all signed up for their classes and definitely did not do it last minute like most college students. <laughs> really? <laughs> I thought I was getting called out specifically for not being here last time, but no, that's real. <laughs> Some of them were goody two shoes and signed up before everybody else. And one big thing for anybody who is just joining us for the first time in this campaign, the information you have is important. Who you choose to trust, even amongst your own party, can determine how you develop because there are more systems than just basic D&D bullshit at play. You will get bonuses from classes, discoveries, anything that you find. This university already has 50 some odd maps and like 80 NPCs all logged into the game and we've had used like three of them. So, for two loop points to all those involved, anybody who roleplayed, do you want to do your quick synopsis of what was missed? Because all, and you can find the full form text of this all in the Discord. Exclamation to Discord may or may not work, I don't know. No, we can test that right now. Heck, it does. You figured yeah. it out before me. Dude, what? It seems like you had three late late nighters last night. Once the uh, students arrived, I think uh, Whimsy, Vincenzo, and Hermes decided to uh, stick around, decorate the rooms, and uh, meet each other for a solitaire game. I believe it was called solitaire. Yes. Although Vinny was uh, not very pleased with it as it's not his favorite but he did not want to gamble with the people he just met <laughs> and um, we appeared yeah. to find out Hermes information about his background and Whimsy's background I believe mm -hmm. and yes. that uh, Whimsy has a very special event coming up that he has absolutely no idea what to do with it um <laughs> Seeing as he did reveal to the the other members that from where he's from, he hasn't really been around for much of anything outside of his home. All right. And so to introduce something kind of new as well, we have the university system, which I need to go pull up on my phone because I posted it. So I would remember it, too. Did everybody read that document? Mm -hmm. A while back, but yes. Ooh. Did anybody not read the document? Yeah, I, I definitely didn't. Sorry, I've been a, <laughs> bit, a bit in my own world the last couple weeks. It's okay. So, basically, you gotta go to schools. You have a limit of 24 hours a day. You have to sleep however much your characters need to sleep based on whatever the hell you are. Um, each class that you choose to take takes four hours during a day. You can choose to take classes in game like role play in the classes based on what everybody in the party decides they want to do in the day you have three hours give or take based on how quickly we roll into the game and how well you work together to fill up in real time you have to go you have to eat you have to spend time going to classes you can spend time socializing you can spend time exploring or trying to chase down secrets whatever it is you fill your time with you have three in game in game hours well, in, in real life hours. And then you can kind of fill that out uh, in Discord in the roleplay section, both in choosing classes to attend and just passively get points. 
for attending the class one point per attendance or you can role play side stuff in the last like four hours of the night or so minor stuff um that i will adjudicate and allow for roles and such things as needed um but basically you get points uh for your classes you'll get additional skills abilities discoveries breakthrough moments whatever um as well as depending on what you attend you'll meet different people find out different plots there's a lot of different things uh underfoot at the university uh that you guys will hopefully find as you make your way through um, but the big thing is to work together and work efficiently to work through because uh, your biggest resource is going to be time both in game and in real life. With that said, how would you guys like to start it out? You guys are waking up here in the morning for a long rest and Roby has found their way to their room who you guys have not met yet who can do all lovely introductions and we can definitely <laughs> describe the characters because we totally did that last time um for everyone you would have all, probably uh when you uh, actually leave your rooms you probably would notice that there is someone already out and about because uh whimsy has been up for a while ah hmm Stepping out from his room, Roby is definitely just carrying a ton of textbooks. Boy Scout through and through. Uh, but he's doing that thing where it's like all looped through with a leather belt. And he's just carrying that over his shoulder along with his day pack. Uh, Garen's going to go over Roby. Uh, hello there, um... I guess we haven't met quite yet. I'm Garing, and would you like any help carrying your books? Uh, turning towards Garing, he sort of shrugs and says, Oh, no, no, I'm appreciative of, of that, you know, offer, though. But, uh, hi, name's Roby. Sorry, I can't exactly shake your hand here. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, nice to meet you. Do you... Like, he kind of points towards Garen's room. He's like, uh, that one's you, right? The one right next to mine? Yep. Ah. Like what it is. Uh, well, good to have you around. I hope that I am not too loud in the coming days, but that remains to be seen. <sighs> but still, very nice meeting you. He kind of turns a little bit he's not great at first introductions but he's good at what he does which is learn and grow there's no speaking you too and Baron walks off to um I guess I don't really know where I'm going yet so Dorbar is just spending a little bit of time exploring the rest of this area and I've noticed there's kind of like a conservatory. Can I do maybe like a survival check to see if I recognize any of the plants or if anything in here is useful for um, like survival purposes or like medicinal or anything like that? Mm, make a specific thing you're looking for and then you can make a check on it for survival yeah um choose one category all right um i'm gonna check to see if there's any medicinal herbs in the area absolutely and survival oh did that roll at advantage yeah but your first roll was 22 so yeah. you get that regardless okay i'll have to figure out how to turn that off again but the lily go. pads that are growing in the fountain are neglected um and if they are not cared for will die however uh 
If you uh, nurture them over the course of a week, there's 10 of them. Each of them will restore six hit points when consumed once they reach maturity. Okay, cool. Do I have any idea what I would need to do to mature them? Uh, you just need to make sure you scrape any bugs that get on them off of them. And uh, make sure that they don't get caught uh, underneath the uh, um, the fountain there. So if you... Maybe, well, I'll let you figure your own shit out. Um, and then also you want to make sure you know nobody's getting in there and destroying them. Okay, I'm going to um, use some of the breeds um, to kind of pull these back and get them away from the fountain. And mm -hmm. then scrape them down. So just take, you know, 10-15 minutes of maintenance. Absolutely. So during that 10 to 15 minutes of maintenance, we have Whimsy, Vinny, Hermes, and Karen. Good morning, everyone. Morning, morning. Uh, how is everybody sleep? I slept quite well, forcibly in a new place. Too quiet. Ah. Too quiet. Don't like the quiet? Uh, I'm still asleep. Everything, Wait. where I'm from, it's always, you know, the noises of the, of the caves and the shadows always look. Yeah. You hear the subtle sounds, it's weird to be so quiet. I never been to the Underdark myself, my family never goes. There's certain parts that are nice, but if you're in where I am, it's not great. Yeah. I see four out of five of us, um, I did want to tell everyone something, just see if we could all get on the same page about some stuff. Mm -hmm. Is my end. Who is that? Eh? Oh, would you look at that? It seems that we have actually not suffered another casualty. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm sorry, what was that? Who's that there directed at? You. You. Oh, shoot. Uh, well, I'm just kind of walking past. As I hear that, I'm going to poke my head around the corner. Uh, chewing something, although what it is, not really relevant right now. Like, huh? Yeah, you, with the, the armor and the big guy. Come here. Please. Kind of shrugs and walks over. He's like, uh, yeah, what's up? Nice to meet you, Vincenzo Dantes. Um, hmm. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Uh, Dantes, you said it was? Yeah, Dantes. Hmm. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Well, hello there. Hermes. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm... Hold on one second. I'm having issues opening my eyes. Uh, I spent a lot of time last night. Ah... Uh... Well, you do have a nice armor. Oh, thanks. It's uh, just a family hand-me-down. But, I mean, it'll get me through the first couple of nights here, right? What'd you say your name was again? Uh, you can call me Roby. What's Roby. your name? Like, well, your Roby. full name. Hmm? Well, What's um... Your, your full name. Okay. Sweet. My full name is Roby... Vorobi's Trees Hearth. Oh, that's I a know. nice name. Trees Hearth. Meta, have I heard that name anywhere before? Being of a noble family in Amir? I don't know. Would he have, Vorobi? I don't know anything about your backstory. <laughs> no, you're totally fine. Not in Emir, uh, more north, I would say. Uh, but his family, if you are into that sort of thing, is kind of going through a bit of a death spiral. Uh, so if you knew anything about it, you'd know that. They probably- oh, they've made some bad investments over the last couple of decades. I'll make a history check. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Never heard of it. Pleasure to meet you, uh, Revolvies. Whimsy Greenslade. I was worried that we were lacking our six, thing as most groups are paired up in sixes. Um, 
There was a casualty on the boat, and I hadn't seen you up until now. I was worried that you had fallen the, to the pirates as well. I think you're muted, Shanny. <laughs> I was muted. No, it, uh, trust me, it, it was nothing. It was a lot of routine maintenance and circumstance out of anything else. I'm sorry that I never got to meet you on the way over. Truly. It's perfectly but... alright. Exactly. Here we are now. There's a, there's another one of us named Dorbar, but he's not here right now. I it's probably been done. about 15 minutes. Dorbar, you can be done with your tasking. Do, do, do. Oh, oh, hello everyone. Good morning. I just, oh, they know that. just took a little moment to work on the garden. I figure if we're going to live here, we should live in a place of beauty. So you have, have a green thumb, I see. I have thumbs. Mm. Is it green? No, they're they're a, a pinkish pale. Oh, Dor Dorbar giggles a little bit. Ah, well, very nice to meet you. I'm gonna put my books down at this point because I'm like I'm I'm in a conversation. I'm not just walking by anymore. I'm gonna put my stuff down. Give Dorbar a handshake. It is 125% calluses on this man's hands. I've seen Actually, some, some stuff. Yeah. Or at least he's been able to do some stuff. That's why I'm here. But... Yes, uh... Have you all settled into your class schedules already? I know that I was a little bit first frazzled by the whole Technically thing. Technically, yeah. today's the first day, so um. Yeah, I I, just... I know it's just setup was a little bit much. I I wasn't able to make it to whatever orientation there was. Uh, I uh, yes um. Now that everyone's here. I've got a suggestion. Do we all know the way that this school works? Not in terms of classes or anything like that, but more of the social transactions of this school. Does everyone know that? Secrets is power. Secrets is money. Uh, sadly, all too well, but yes. Garen, Dorbar, Hermes? Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Secrets, it seems to be. Yeah, I give a little nod. All right, mm -hmm. well, I was thinking about it last night. I was ruminating. Secrets are more valuable than money and used as a form of money, but they aren't money. Secrets, a bit more useful than that. I suggest that we share our secrets with each other. Now, I'm not saying you need to tell us all about your past or anything like that, but any secrets relevant to the school, relevant to other people that could be used in a transactional sense, we share with each other because it's not just, okay, here's a gold, and now you have the gold, I don't have the gold. Then we both have the gold, right? You, you see where I'm coming from here? Mm -hmm. I, I'm on board with the idea, but I, I do have one step that I'd like to add to it, if we may. What if we put it down as some sort of ledger? Some sort of written confirmation of this? Yeah, that's all right with me. It's... And you also tell us where you got the secret from, like who you got it from, or where you found it out. Because otherwise, if you go telling the secret that one of us, say, say, Hermes, you tell me a secret that you got from another student, say Elaine. And then I, you, I don't know that you got it from Elaine, and I go tell it to Elaine, it's useless to me. And she might put two and two together. Okay. Ooh. So, for Here example, we go. organization. I received a secret from Uto on the boat that although the school itself is a thousand years old, all the buildings are older than that. And not every part of this school has been explored yet. Oh. In a thousand years, not everything has been explored. That's what Uto told me. And he's a combat magic teacher, so he must know something, right? Well done, mm. that, huh? Okay, so... Log... Um... 
Sorry, I'm just taking notes for myself. Oh, notes are very much encouraged dead. in this campaign mm. this time. <laughs> I, that's why I wanted to do the ledger. I don't want to have to write all this stuff down individually. I definitely think we should definitely try to explore these unhinged territories. And uh, are there any just empty books anywhere in the dorm rooms meta? There's some. I have one. There's a book here, and there's two books here. With nothing in them, just pages. Uh, you have some stationery have right here. All right. Like 15 pages or so. Uh, if you want, Whimsy, if you want, them. yeah. If you want to offer up yours, you can, but we can also use that stationery. I have four. And yeah, we could use one of your notebooks. Yeah, yeah. I, I know everyone heard, but Dorbar is going to share that uh, the lily pads in the garden do have medicinal properties when they fully mature. So that's something we can cultivate as a group in case we ever need them for some kind of emergency. I assume that if those uh, lily pads work for that, uh, you may be able to uh, use them as is, or even turn them into health potions, so my uh, area of expertise actually does come into that, should we want to refine them into a further state. Just an offer. Dorp, gonna make an... I, I'd like to make... Hold on, I gotta get my voice back for the character. Yes, I also sent you something that you would have known from that nature check. Okay. <clears throat> um, so, guys, what what do you think about the idea of us kind of creating a group inventory in the ledger, too? I'm not saying, like, our own clothes or, you know, weapons or none of that. But, you know, if we do create some health potions, then we can kind of inventory it. Uh, because I'm sure we're gonna find plenty of things. <clears throat> that was a great idea. Especially we're gonna be finding new objects in unexplored areas. You see Hermes' <laughs> eyes just light up with greed of gold and, and, and artifacts just thinking he can find something shiny. I put a Book of Secrets document tab, just in case we want to all type it in there, for posterity's sake. All the secrets. But did you lock it? Did you put a password on it? Because are, are you guys nope. going to want to share all of your secrets with the other party, necessarily? I think mm. after this one... Because I'm everybody's going... devices are their own, and everybody's plans are their own. Exactly. After we are done this session, I'm going to lock that document and I will open it back up next session. <laughs> I don't but you could still have a spy get in during the session. I think, I think my, on a, on a, Meta, I feel like you're targeting someone here. <laughs> 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 One person. <laughs> <laughs> I, wanna... say, I I have not shared any secrets from either party. I will not share any secrets. No, I trust. I trust. I trust Gochi to separate church and state. It's fine. And you want to? I'm gonna say as a. I think everyone can agree from, from both parties. As a general rule, we can't watch the other stream and take their secret. Correct. I'm. I'm, I'm I, I'm fine with the document. If we have a document lying around and someone finds it, then they get access to yeah. it or something like that. But I like, I I think everyone can agree. If we want to watch the other section for enjoyment, you can. We can yeah. all we all can trust that we're not gonna just oh, yeah. steal their secrets. Oh for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, and I kind of like, and also I don't want to be a bit dramatic here. We're in day one. If Eight months down the line, someone happens to steal our book. That's a whole other plot line that we have to deal with. Yeah. Oh, so now that this book exists, um, can somebody please mark somehow in their character sheet? Let's all agree that this book exists in a certain place, so that if I, so that I can easily check if for some reason the location of this book becomes important, 
I know where it is. Does anyone have like specialty or expertise in some form of stealth? Because I have highest uh, five intimidation two? and five deception. Um, I have high stealth. Would it be a stealth roll to hide the book, though? Or would yeah, that stealth be... to roll, hide it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. If you uh, hide no, it, you would make a stealth roll at the time you hide it. And then um, put in your character sheet what the book is hidden at, what stealth roll it was hidden with. Okay, so I, have... I suggest... Not me. Because then if somebody tries to investigate to find it, they're going to have to beat your roll. Because somebody could, say, break into your dormitory and try and find it. And if you ho hit it with a 26, it's going to be real hard for them to find it. Okay. Also, uh, I, uh, and I don't want to... Oh, sorry. No, you're good. I, I don't want to add too many layers to this, but I'm thinking whoever hides the book, if they're the only one that knows about it and the only one who knows where it is, that's twofold security. What if because they die, one, though? Uh, well, if they die, then our secrets go to the dirt with them. But... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also, then, if, if we want to add to it, we have to find them, though. So, if we all know so, where it is, then then it might also increase more trust between us because that's part of what Vinny's trying to do is make sure that we trust each other. Here's enough. a crazy idea. We can all know where it's at, but for anyone that asks, we always say someone else knows about it, but someone else hid it. That way, you always send someone else to someone else, not the person that actually hit it, if they need and to ask questions. We never tell anybody else mm -hmm. between uh, beside, outside of our party about this book. We don't it talk is. about fight book. And I have high deception <laughs> and intimidation in case we need to use it. And so I can what? be very deceptive. Mm -hmm. Kind of an idea. There's this room back up here, which is just on its own, kind of out of the way of everything else, um, but doesn't have that much in it. So especially if we get a good lock, we can get some traps as time goes along, we can just kind of hide it back in this room back here. And then like, that's just kind of what this room is used for. So this is how dungeons are created. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna put like a nature golem in the garden and then yeah it's gonna be great all right wonderful so shall we start filling the contents of this book anyone has any other secrets that they know that pertain to other students the school anything that could be of value here please share them now I don't need to know your mom's boyfriend's favorite cat. I just need to know uh, anything useful. We all do. Sorry. And we, we trust each other. I don't think I was giving any secrets yet. Mm -mm. Um, I mean, other than say like a natural weakness, like for example, my knees giving out quite easily. I pray you won't need to use that information against me. That doesn't but, pertain to the school. That pertains exactly. to you. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's not something that goes in the book. It's an example of what we shouldn't that, put in there. Should we put in the book people we're cautious about? For example, that person that was kind of like snooping on us on day one, or before day one. Elena. Yeah. I think I, Elena might have died. No, no, it was she's the, alive. The no, she, I think he survived. The smoker yeah. died. The he guy was stabilized. Yeah. yeah. The guy that blew uh, marijuana into Gary's face. Yeah. I could never <laughs> find Elena. I, where Elaine. did Elena go? She's in. She's in. She was in the hall for party party one. It when we were in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she ran me over. Only one Literally. person. Yeah, basically only one person for each party died. Elena was stabilized because uh, Whimsy was walking up to stabilize, and Uthel said, "I got her." It's just, um, I don't see her anywhere. I don't know what happened. Ooh, Medic look with the boat. Mm. Um. So I stole that vial of liquid from Elaine. I think I accidentally deleted my D and D notes from last week. Did I ever? Oh, find there's Elaine. Did I ever find out what was in that vial? 
Give me one second. If I didn't, <laughs> it's fine. I just now have to find out, and I'll let everyone know that I have that vial, and we can include it in our list of secrets, but um... I just want to know if I can tell them right now what she had compared to just she had hidden some kind of potion or poison. Or did I write it on my character sheet? Yeah, check the character can... sheet real quick for what that says. I'm just fixing this because I couldn't find a lane before. Yeah, it just says vial of clear liquid. And what circumstances did you find it under again? I broke into a room and stole it. Far farm. <laughs> I thought Ooh. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I didn't know that it was fucking chloroform. Oh, wow. Okay, sweet. Uh, so we have a thing of chloroform, and I'm going to let them know that Elaine had a thing of chloroform as well as some high quality lock picking tools. So she, whether she plans on being nefarious or just she wants to be prepared for her classes, there is a potential of her being a nefarious character. I'm not sure how much chloroform might help her in class. I mean, maybe if she's taking alchemy, but I it's just don't imagine. Stealth and information. Yeah, it's possible to use what she's that in order to get into a room and uh, perhaps if someone knows something that's more uh, intriguing to her, she could uh, silently take them out and gain the information she seeks. With that in mind, um, would you, Lilipuff, would like me to set up a ward against... Uh, Someone like her? Mm. I think that would be the right call to make in this situation. Possibly. Uh, yeah. I'd like to be run over again. That would help. I can cast a, a spell at nighttime before we go to bed um, to essentially ward the front door in case one someone who isn't us enters uh, our room. Thank you. That actually sounds very, very useful. Thank you. It's really good. I, yes, it does sound very cool. I'll, I will handle that. Um, but we... I've been awake for almost four hours, so uh, shall we head down to the... Um, cafeteria. The area. Breakfast, the that's cafeteria. what I was doing. Mm. Then he set, calls out as he begins walking. Breakfast does sound pretty good right about now. Best move before time runs out. You see Herm is yawning and says, Wait for me, food! So you enter from the left into the great dining hall, into the great cafeteria where you see students walking in and out of the kitchen with various dishes and trays. You see them gathered at the different differing tables conversing with each other and eating you see them holding different conversations um you guys would have been made aware during the orientation that the stores are available for student use unless you are found to be abusing them uh you are able to make your own food in the kitchen area Ooh, wonderful i would totally like to do that all right Unfortunately, the kitchen is not really my special key. I can make a sandwich. I wonder what they have to eat. Where's the kitchen door for this? I'd be fine with an apple. Actually, I'd be more than happy with an apple. Uh, I'll settle for beans if that's what I have to eat. Is Wait, there a I, kitchen door? Is there a door I don't in the think, kitchen? I don't think there's a door to get in unless you come in from outside. <laughs> you just... <laughs> We're gonna we make one. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm gonna leap over the serving table that they have. <laughs> you just... No food. Yeah. Alright, and I, I'm gonna be cooking just a quick 
healthy breakfast of eggs, some form of protein, and then there's a door. Scrap vegetables. No, there's there. a door. I made a door. Perfect. That's what I came through. Perfect door. You, you literally see Hermes just grab a piece of raw meat and start eating it because he has no manners whatsoever. <laughs> Meta, does it look like anyone is cutting in line? Uh, there's not really a line right now. What you see is kind of who's there. Uh, yeah. you see the lady to the right, uh, to the left of you, Hermes, just kind of look up at you, kind of wrinkle her nose, and then go back to preparing what looks like some kind of fish. <laughs> Deal some turkey and make a sandwich? Like, is this a prepared turkey? for people to grab yeah there's, there's pretty much anything too. you can think of you guys pay yep. a fair bit in tuition and they are mages and too. can't mages just make whatever the fuck they feel like <laughs> heroes feast yep there you go you see you see whimsy walks up to the table and he's just like looking at everything and he's just like mm. and the moment he sees an apple he just picks up two of them and walks out of the kitchen <laughs> that's real Then he looks around and he finds like a um, couple pieces of bread. And he says, mm, "Some butter. These will be good." And walks out. All right. Mm. I'm gonna Garen gets just some um, baking eggs and a biscuit for um, going out. All right. So, um. Dorbar's gonna like kind of wa wander into this room with his little sandwich. Yeah. Um, can I do an investigation roll to see if there's anything not food stored in here? Certainly. Uh, do, 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 do. Um,. You don't notice anything stored in here, but you notice that uh, there's some weird sections where the linoleum equivalent material is starting to, is just kind of peeling up. If I peel it up more, is it just more flooring underneath it, or? Uh, there's more wood underneath it, but there's a definite kind of a seam that you're starting to see. Okay. Um... Does I, did I see anyone like interested in this area? Nobody else. No, not not as far as you've seen anybody walk back there so far. Can I just? I'm still keep, eating a piece of raw meat. Can I just keep pulling up the linoleum and see if there's like a hidden door underneath it or something? There is a hidden door underneath it, but it does have a lock on it with a keyhole, a brass um, keyhole. Can I try and pick it? You would have been equipped on day one. Did you take thievery or uh, information and whatever? I did, and uh, that class, and then I have the advanced lock picking tools as well. Then, yeah, yeah, no, you have the ability to do so. Then, yeah. Okay, so what's the? What do you want to call the roll? Um, what would a roll for a lock pick be? Is it Dragonheart? You're the you're the guy. Investigation. These tools, tools have. Yeah, it has. Check. Yeah. Do you have these tools have a skill check involved with them? There so you you're supposed to roll dexterity with these tools. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I just wrote in high quality lock picking tools. Um. Oh no, I do have thieves tools. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah, so rogues come pre-equipped with the proficiency in these tools, so you basically roll that with dexterity. Yep. You do open it up with a click and a snick. Okay. What's down there? Or is it, look, scary? Is it super dark? Uh, you can't see it. Uh, as you open it up, Please make a constitution saving throw. Okay. 
I can see in the dark. If you need me. Sorry, not constitute. Oh, yeah, const it doesn't matter. You would have failed regardless. <clears throat> um, let me go. I gotta go and pull this up one second. I thought it was gonna be like some rotten stench or something. I'm gonna have you re-roll that so you get lucky. It's a wisdom saving throw. Oh boy, a dead body. <laughs> Sorry. Make a sanity check. Actually, shout out to Call of Cthulhu for being such a banger system. I, I love it so much. As a DM, it is so much better than 5e. I do not have to come up with an arbitrary number for a DC. I just say, uh, do you uh, succeed? <laughs> for some reason, I'm not where. OK, you just said roll wisdom. Yeah, wisdom saving throw. Oh, well, geez. Hey, thank you for the lucky second roll. <laughs> You're lucky. Yes. Uh, you feel magic trigger, and you feel something wash over you, but it's almost like whoever made the magic messed something up in the casting, and as it's just about to take hold and paralyze you on the spot, it breaks and disperses. So, do I... Is there any way I would know if I just reclose this, rehead the... Flanoleum, and then came back later if the trap would trigger again. It was a magical trap, it would not. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and close the door back up mm -hmm. and then relay down the linoleum and just do the best I can to try and cover up the fact that it was ever peeled up or there's anything wrong with it. Roll stealth. Um. And then write that down somewhere in your character sheet. Preferably on page two, maybe. And write down this thing is hidden by this level of a stealth check. Okay. Uh, character sheet. And while you're doing that, because that's a lot that's happening, we'll go back to the rest. Hermes, what are you doing? Um, I see, I look around me and I see that everybody's gone. So I ran quickly to this fish and I grab it mm -hmm. and I run out the door with the fish on my hand, the whole fish, like the whole fish. The students I, I, who are I eating in the hall just kind of stare at you and just kind of shake their heads and go back to eating. Garen, what's your passive perception? My pack of, uh, dealing to 11. Okay, you hear the two people right in front of you whispering that they'll let anybody with 50 gold in these days. Uh... And then we'll move over to Vinny, Roby, Whimsy, and Hermes at the table here. Yeah, I ran that way. <laughs> Whimsy's ah. just sitting there, very happy, sitting there, eat, enjoying his apples. Um, <laughs> Vinny finishes up his two pieces of buttered toast. Not bad. Garen, glad you joined us. Glad to be oh, here. Are, are you, so are, is that a fish? What, what do you call it again? It's delicious. Uh, He's of noble descent, by the way. <laughs> I... <laughs> okay. The, I, I'm he... sorry. I don't have these things in hell. Uh, I, I don't think that means you should do the whole thing, though, because there's Especially probably other things that would like it. Raw? Do you not want that cooked, or...? I... I... Some people consider it a delicacy. I'll leave it at that. 
So, uh, what classes does everybody plan on taking today? Melee combat. Hmm. I kind of, like, thumb over, and I'm like, yeah, same here. I feel like it's a little bit... It's a good day to get on a teacher's good side, so... I feel like that class would probably help. I am not uh, very skilled in that area, I'll be honest with you. Eh, it takes all kinds in this world. Don't beat yourself up about oh. it. But as I enough time, I got, I'm also going to think about trying some support magic classes as well. Ooh. Hermes, Whimsy, what, what are you guys planning on taking? Not certain. Um, one of the magic classes is probably where I'll be going to today. And then um, <laughs> beyond that, I think either alchemy with Sonria or future telling with Walmeo. I'm thinking about one of the magic classes too. <laughs> You guys mentioned magic, I'm in. Anything magic, I'm in. Norbar wanders back in, says hello to everyone. I'm assuming as I was walking back, I heard they were talking about which classes they were going to be attending. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, you'd probably be able to pick up the tail end of the conversation. You so, would for sure be yeah. able to hear Hermes. He's loud. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna let him know. I'm I'm thinking about like the secrets class and then the uh, ranged class, ranged combat. Ah, ranged combat. That is interesting. Aren't we limited to one class a day, though? We oh, are. It... Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, probably two classes in time. But however many classes you can roleplay-wise, as well. Real. Yeah, it's 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 less of, it's more of like we get, it'd probably be like one class that we do in session, it's the classes that we do out outside of, um... Outside of it? That. Yeah, yeah the stuff that's handled by the yeah. system and time management is points, but you can have special breakthroughs, rewards, things happen in classes that you attend. Okay, that's good to know. Then yeah, combat class is definitely the one I want to attend today. You all have Get to agree on which class you're gonna attend, or try yeah. to, or multiple classes you'll try to attend in that period. It doesn't have to all be the same one, but you guys have to split the time enough to get each of those classes. Actually, I know that a lot of people were talking about magic classes. Would the combat magic class possibly be rolled in to a joint session with the melee one? I mean, if they're both... No, they're all separated two... off, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, right. I'm not sure if those teachers could handle each other, I'm gonna be honest, based on what I've seen. Yeah, <laughs> the, the teachers are very... are very unique. <laughs> they are, indeed. Yes, okay. Shani, you've missed like two years of personal oh, growth as a DM. <laughs> I know. It, it it's good coming back, even in new surroundings. Just I came back with a world of darkness addiction, so I know that things have changed. <laughs> what class are you guys gonna do? We think in practical or combat. Oh, definitely that Uthel guy. He seems right. interesting. That's combat, combat then. Looks, combat looks to me. All right. We three can go to combat. You guys, uh, if you want to come too, if you have it, you can. If not, you guys do you. We have Ooh. about two hours left. We can probably split 30 to 40 minutes of class or keep swapping between them between that time. Oh, so also decide what cool. other so you guys can you can probably fit one a second class in if you guys can the other three can agree on a class to attend in person i mean i i'd really like to do stealth and secrets or whatever it is 
um, like I, I can do melee, but it's kind of just as a character, melee combat is my emergency combat, not my primary mode. To you guys. You're muted. Shay. I think you're muted. I'm sorry about that. I don't know why I was muted, but uh, yeah. Honestly, if someone else wants to go for stealth, I don't mind tagging along with the magic combat people. Do we have stealth people? Thought other people enrolled in it. Um, the other person who enrolled in it, I think, is either Hermes or, or Vinny. But yeah, Vinny's enrolled in it. Logistics. Um, and magic smithing. Yeah, every so class that. Weapons. Yeah, every class that Whimsy has. Like, I'm pretty sure Whimsy has two, three classes that no one else has. So his. He's uh he only the only things he has together with people is uh Liglesos, Uthels, and You can certainly allocate individuals Kaifemo. like 10, 15 minute for small sessions for people's individual classes. You guys are all in control of your guys' management, how you divvy it up amongst yourselves. And if you want like I can role play the um combat class if you're okay, presuming that I went to the stealth and range combat class. Stealth as like you're out of session one? <laughs> yeah, so I mean you said we are doing eight hours of classes a day. Well you have well I mean that's probably the max you would want to do. It's so there's two things that you have resources. You have twenty four hours in a day, including sleeping, eating, exploring, etc. You have three hours of daytime like actual real life time that you guys as a party of six can split up to do things in your day in person. So you are planning out your day of 24 hours and then agreeing on as a party what parts of that you guys want to play out in person. Yeah, that yeah. sounds good. So how long is a class? A uh, class is four hours. Or in, in okay. terms of how much time you devote to it in game, you guys can decide that amongst yourselves. We can give Gorbar 10 minutes for his class if you guys want and we cut it there. And whatever you find in that 10 minutes is what you get. So it's I'm all fine. up to you guys. <laughs> um. So right now is the consensus magical combat and then melee combat for the two weed yeah. RP. We yeah we could do um Roby and Garen could be in melee combat since those are the mm. ones you guys want and then the three cast full casters uh, could do magical combat. And just because you don't attend stealth today doesn't mean that you can't attend it next week, which is just tomorrow in game. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. So you guys will all decide throughout the, the, the sessions. So maybe you don't get it this time, but next time they give you bargain for 15 minutes of stealth class or however you Man, want. That reminds me. Is it too late to change classes? I'll allow it, but nobody can change after after we start classes here today. And that's, I don't Copy. completely remember every single one of the classes that I took. Um, uh, you could check the VOD and write them down. Oh yeah, yeah that's yeah, why. That's, I, that's why I wrote all. I wrote all of mine down as I was as since I right off the bat when I picked them. So same here. Yeah, I got them all written down. I'll get I'll get that done this week. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah. I'll also buy a pink one on that. I'll attend Her melee combat. Call and code it. Okay, so guys, role play amongst yourselves for a little bit here while I build out melee combat. Mm. Um, Hermes, Hermes. Yes, sir. Please, please, there are things called, um, utensils. Okay. <clears throat> what do you do with those? I don't you know. use them to eat your food. Yeah, that. Can I see one? I'm gonna hold yeah. up a fork that I'm just finished eating with. It's a dinky little thing. 
Yeah. Y you just use this so then your hands don't get dirty. You know what I mean? Oh, I see. You see Hermes just grab it and stab the fish and pick it up like this and start chopping it. Like it's a popsicle. No. Let's, 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 he doesn't let's, have a knife. He needs a knife. He needs a knife. <laughs> I feel oh, like the I knife is the last thing that oh, yeah. we should be giving him. What? What? When he picks up the whole fish, Dorbar oh. is gonna say, "Well, that's at least an improvement, I suppose." Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but if I if we have to press a digitate him every time he eats. <laughs> <laughs> What did you learn magic for? Yeah, you know, I was that. in bail. I was in bail on with my family once. There was this crazy prestidigitation lady. She was strange. I'm gonna be honest with you. Very strange. She ran a mall or something. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, in bail on. Bail on is we. It's like the biggest I, city. It's got like the the size of two cities, right? Yeah, yeah, I've heard. And I don't know where to go though. There's a lot of crystals kind of everywhere it's it's weird i like crystals mm. i i like a good crystal too I, but it feels like balon just really likes crystals like to an unhealthy degree that's Remember not it's not rock? as much anymore oh, but yeah. yes i mean it's made out oh. of crystals primarily at this point <laughs> yeah. i'm sure yeah yeah and it's technically oh. Olford and Seyfalls, because Alvin absorbed Olford. Honestly, every, it's yeah. probably canonically known at this point as the Crystal City, because I'm imagining Alvin wouldn't resist turning the infrastructure into nigh-indestructible in crystalline structures. Oh, yeah, he would do that, but uh, <laughs> I'm just saying that if, um, if we remember, he doesn't have that anymore, so... Yeah. Yeah. This this is from an outsider's perspective on a city just with a lot of crystals. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but, and the whole time you're talking, Wiz is just looking at you like, what? You should go huh? see. Honestly, it's it's a nice city. Uh, for some reason, I I never see the guy who runs it. Like I've met mayors from other cities. Like I met the mayor of Malos Pass. Hermes never go to Malos Pass. Do not. You should not go to Malos Pass. You hear that whimsy crystal? Did you just pass at him saying not to go to Malo's Pass? What is he going on about? Malo's uh, Pass uh, is not the biggest fan of... Vinny just points at his horns. They're not the biggest fan of those. These? Yeah. He flames. Uh, oh, no! Yeah. About that, no. that many. No, no, it's I classic. Know. No, these are classic <laughs> literature now. These are thousand year old manuscripts. Exactly. This, these are this studied. Is the Shakespeare of our time. These, these are studied in time. this school. <laughs> these are textbooks. <laughs> well, he's from Amir. <laughs> we don't have exactly the best history with that guy. You know, it, it's going to be a really in interesting discussion. We've always talked about why the curtains are blue. Now we got to talk about why the knot is blue. <laughs> All right, uh, that was a fun session, you guys. <laughs> All right, are we ready to move on to... What are we doing? Combat magic first? Sure. Ooh. Welcome in to Combat Magic with Uthal as the students find their way to their seats as Uthal appears to be reading a manuscript and writing things down. You think you may see a, a hint of incense burning at his desk.
Hermes is gonna sit next to Vinny because he's a bit well traveled soul. The whole map just fucking moved. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> not everything's anchored properly. Andrea's been helping me upload all- And then a big thank you to Andrea. She's been helping me upload all the maps, upload all of the bajillion NPC students that we have. She was up till 12.30 in the morning last night with me uploading things for the campaign today. Jeez. So. Also, she named every single NPC, so... Also, you might want to keep an eye on who's what because we're not adding name tags. Just a little dots for our notes. That one's this. <laughs> Every sprite is unique, though. That's why we spend all that time doing that. And all that money. We bought a couple of people packs. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Is everybody on the map? Who's going to be on the map? Yeah. I mean, I can't take both classes today, right? Because they're happening at the same time. No, you can take both. Oh. But if you do it, you mind, that's eight hours out of your day. I mean, if we are role-playing both, then I will be in both. Yeah, so you can you can certainly be in both, but that even you're committing eight hours out of your, your first day. Of 30, I, and you only have 30 school. days until you must have 50 gold each. The Boy Scout is Boy Scouting. I, I will deal with the money later. Yep, yep, I'm just letting you know. Absolutely. Alright. So you <laughs> see... Booth will look up from his desk and you see a long Gandalfian pipe. Takes a big pull on it. And pulls out some smoke. <sighs> the start of another semester. So, which one of you are going to be horribly burned, maimed, or misfigured by the end of class this month? Raise no his one? Hand. Okay, well, at least some of you are honest. <laughs> Vinny just says, it's very possible that I might. You see, great. The best part is being self aware. If you understand that you're a dumbass, then you can avoid hurting yourselves. I don't even have control over it, I'm gonna be honest. Like, on the way- on the way goodness. here, can you believe it? The ship's captain drove right into a fucking pirate ship! If you understand, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that what happened now? Make sure to jot that down. <laughs> yeah, it's like you see Whipsy is writing that down. <laughs> So in a situation with pirates, what kind of magic is the best offense? Does anybody know? Uh, anybody? When you're talking about, like Lightning? school magic, like e evocation, something like that. Wrong. Any magic that fucking works. Oh. And he takes another drag on his pipe. You see. Anything can work. You have a person in a box. You create water. They drown. You put a you put a wall in the box. My, one time I heard of a dwarf absolutely diabolical, just fucking pinned people down with a fucking dirt wall until they suffocated. Waterboarded them. Just absolutely brutal. That guy doesn't sound too nice, does he, Hermes? He's getting a so kind of mile for my kind of torture. Yeah. Based on where you're from, I believe you. No offense, by the way. Oh, none taken, indeed. It's a horrible place. So, and he, now, then he, he reaches down and he picks up a completely uh, metal pipe and says, Who would want this pipe just for free? Nothing me, good me, comes me, for me, free. Me, me. I'll take the pipe. It's shiny. Oh, uh, yes, I know you will. I don't mean Nothing good he hands comes you the for pipe. free. Hermes. Ah. You have the pipe now. You see Hermes run straight at, at him for Hermes, make a constitution saving throw. 
<laughs> oh god, okay. <laughs> Do not accept free things from Uthol. Noted. Out of seven. <laughs> Does that work? Take two! Heat damage. And as the pipe that is in your hand heats up, blazing hot, and scorches the skin off your hand, do you choose to hold on to it or drop it? Hold on to it. Make another constitution saving throw. Hermes, drop the pipe! Oh, he's a tiefling. Hermes, so take five damage much. of heat damage. Uh, Please make a strength saving throw if you choose to try and get rid of it at this point. <laughs> do you not have fire resistance? I, I do. He yeah, he does, but still. Yeah. Oh, you just have he didn't yeah. what kind of damage. He just and you chuck damage. it to the ground. He goes, <laughs> So, Hermes, what was the best weapon for this situation? Uh, magic. Your opponent's stupidity class. Please return to your seat. Use your opponent's stupidity against them. Hey guys, I gotta go for a bit. I'll be back. Yeah, no problem. Uh, no, sorry, I'm not picking on anybody. This is just Uthil's. Uthil's a bit of a crotchety direct guy. Uthil's seen some shit. Also, you guys had the, the decision of when you want to cut the class off as well. Not real. This is entertaining. This is your time nothing. management. So the first thing is you have to know what to do with your repertoire. And then he goes and he points us to an, he points at this person back over here. Who? Oh, okay. He goes, what is your best offensive spell? And she goes, Firebolt or Poison. And he goes, Do you happen to have any other spells available to you? And she goes, Well, I have a charm that lets me cast teleport once a day. Why wouldn't you start with that? What? You, that's not a. That's not a. That's not a combat spell. He goes, okay, let me show you. And he, he goes and he snaps his fingers and she disappears. Um, uh, where did you send them to? Did you just drop them? She's going up. She's going up. And then you hear a loud <laughs> crash. And it crashes <laughs> through the ceiling. One second. Yeah, that's... That's and as expected. she's about to hit the ground, he snaps his finger again and she levitates an inch above the ground. Scratches and cuts from the boards, covering her scales and splinters of wood. Just scattered around, he goes, and I have just the thing for that too. My good friend back in Balin taught me this one. And he snaps another finger and all of the boards go back up. They lift in the air and they go right back into place and fix themselves as if they had never been broken. And she limps see, back see to what her I said. seat. See what I said? There's the digitation. <laughs> that seems quite complex for a cantrip, don't you think? Is there not some other form of spell that he could have been using to replace those boards? Right, he could have always just charmed a person, and this would have been an easy matter. <sighs> so now, class, we'll start with the next section. I'd like you to break out into pairs. Last and first person unconscious loses. If you remain conscious at the end of the class, you all get a special reward. What? All right, I'm going to go find... This person over here, they have a fire. I need to go through the NPCs. Okay, so find somebody you want to pair up with. We'll just assume that people will let you just for convenience sake. 
I cannot find their sprite on the students page. You see Hermes just run straight to Uthel. No, no, you have to, they're in the class. Yeah, you only have access to the people in the class. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you just walk up to him and shoot, walk up to him and say, that's who I'm pairing with. Yeah, just put your character sprite next to him. Yeah. All right. You see, you see, Whimsy looks a little sad that you chose her, and he walks all the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want, oh, I don't no. want to establish PvP on the first session. I need a win. No, that, that was that's that's the person who he's been befriending. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry for them. <laughs> um, that was Hermes, the you're with this little thing. green guy. Yeah, whatever that green dude bug looking thing hey. is. Vinny, you've got this guy. Yes. Nice choice. Whimsy. Okay, is everybody paired? All right, everybody yeah. roll initiative. Like on, a to on our character sheet? It doesn't like, matter. We're not doing a real in? initiative. It's just who gets to go okay. first in this. Ish. All right, Whimsy. so Whimsy. Whimsy, you get to walk up to your person first. We are going to let me get a timer. Whimsy, you have five minutes to complete the exercise and um, to so basically to introduce yourself, to talk, to get whatever information you want, and to complete the exercise. If you do not complete the exercise, who knows what happens, but you have five minutes to do so in real life. So let me open up my clock here. And you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. A pleasure. I am Lindsay Greenslade. Hello, it's nice to meet you. My name is Lovisa. Lovisa, a pleasure. And what brings you to this school? No, I just need to need to find a living away from my parents. I, I don't quite enjoy the lifestyle that they built up in Baru's Keep. Ah. Okay. So, are you much of a combat mage yourself? I am. Well, I hope that I don't hurt you too much. I've been known okay, to I'm break my opponents, or so I've been told. Okay. What is the exercise that we're supposed to be doing? Are we just fighting each other? Uh, yeah, the first person unconscious. Uh, yeah, it should be. It is to a, f a fight to see what our skills are, so it... Would you like to go <laughs> first, or would you prefer that I do? Um, you may go first. I do not mind. She raises a wand that is a vibrant pink into the air. And she says, I'm sorry, but hereditary magic is hereditary magic. And she casts a spell and pink sparks shoot out of the wand. Whimsy. Mm -hmm. Make a charisma saving throw. That's an that one, boss. You are completely beside yourself with infatuation and besotment for her. Anything she could ask you to do, you would do without hesitation. And she says, I feel like you'd find it hard to breathe without me, and then walks away. And you find your throat close up as you stop breathing. Sorry, Whimsy. It wasn't that one. <laughs> Still, I mean, it gave us a good example of what can happen. Failure yep. is an option at this school. It is. 
And then we move to who's next? Uh, I think it was I Goji. Think that, yeah, that's me. Goji. Yeah, Vinny. <laughs> now? Yes, although also Whimsy, Dragonheart. There is a reason that that magic worked the way it is. It's not a raw thing. It's a, it's a character thing. I wasn't arguing. Oh, no. I know. I'm just letting you know. Mm -hmm. That's what didn't seem what it was. Okay. Go ahead, Vinny. Hello there. You, me, the exercise. Oh, you're rather forceful, aren't you? I don't believe in wasting time. I'm from Amir. We got to move fast. Oh, in I my city. Are you used to moving fast? You know, I'm a bit fiery myself, but you know, you seem a bit oddly dressed for that level of excitement. What can I say? I am who I am. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. <laughs> so, exercise? Well, I suppose I could blast you in the face. I suppose I could do this. And I cast Lightning Roar. DC 14 Strength Save. Yep, let me grab a dice. Pretty, I like and they you. save. Well, like what your, happens if they save? Uh, I believe it's nothing. Okay. He even, holds even out his... catch people's names. <laughs> One second. <laughs> How rude! And then he holds out his hand. You need to make a uh, dexterity saving throw as fires burst forth from his hands, blasting across your face. 17. Um, so you take half of... Let's see. You take seven total damage, 14, so seven. Seven di burning damage as the flames consume your head, scorching your cloak. Vince, is that, what's your HP? My max is eight. Let me make a con save. Yeah, please make a constitution death. saving throw. I'm I'm shocked. I'm down. As you pass one. out, I'm, not I'm sorry. There's a level one spell. Oh, it's burning hands or something, isn't it? It is just burning hands, and he just happened to roll a five yeah. five four. Yeah, my one uh, combat based level one spell sucks. Yeah. Because it requires a diamond worth fifty gold pieces. Oof. It is chromatic orb. The party has not started out well mm. so far. Yes, no. Uh oh. That's my that, that's my turn. I don't mind. It's still fun. Yes. Restart the timer. Who do we have next? Robbie. Ruby. Damn. I made my own mistake. <laughs> That would have, but given that we didn't notice it until now, we're just going to leave it as is and figure that out no in the worries. future. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay, so sorry. Who do we have now? I was figuring something else out. Uh, Roby. Roby. Okay, Roby. All right. I am wasting no time with this. I'm pointing to the person that I'm walking to, doing one of those vaults over the table, and I'm pulling out my sword. I'm gonna make sure that he learns the number make one. Make a strength lesson saving all... throw. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Please don't roll bad. Please don't make me look like a punk. Twelve. Uh, roll the damage. Uh, roll the roll as if you were hitting a critical hit with your sword. Oh. Okay. That is max damage you can do plus the dice roll. So just roll whatever oh, your okay. damage dice is. Okay. Uh, because we that's how we do crits. Okay. That's just a hit. Uh, wait, wait, oh, yeah. Why did it hit go damage? Hit? Sorry about that. Uh, okay. So that is 22. Okay. Take 22 damage as you see the sword 
and you try and fight it, but it turns in your hand as everybody else in the class can see Uthel with his rod up, and the sword turns and runs you through, dealing 22 damage. And he says, this is magic class. Oh, and I'm, he, oof. yeah, you are unconscious. And he walks over and he pours over a sparkling golden potion on top of your body, healing you up as you remain unconscious. Unconscious, damn. Okay, I guess I couldn't participate in combat magic class. You would probably you want to. Part? You would probably want to source spell scrolls, maybe. I mean, real. I, I'm just. I'm gonna be a mage fighter. So I was like, I gotta be able to throw hands with someone who can cast spells. Yep, but that wasn't the exercise. Not point. Not you no, as I a mean, player. I'm saying just like. Just no, I voice. totally get it. Yep, yep. No, I totally understand it. And All I right. Like this open, so I'm unconscious with a sword through me. Well, he's removed the sword. He's nice. He healed you up with a golden potion. It's all good. All right, but unconscious. Yes. Um, which leaves us with Hermes, I think. Yeah. yeah Hermes, you're I the last one guy. conscious. So I'm gonna walk towards my opponent first. I'm gonna put my. I'm gonna try to intimidate my opponent with my eyes. Um, and then, if that if that doesn't work, I got what? a spell to use. Why? Are, what the fuck are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> And then I'm gonna charm the person. Yeah, right. I level one charm. <laughs> you cast the spell and nothing happens. You see the the bug thing turn its spear wood. Smash it into the ground and you see the goo spread out underneath your feet and then start climbing up your legs. Please make a constitution saving throw. Oh no. There is okay, an out of there second. is a out, out of character, there is a reason that that charm did nothing without a roll. Oh, me a five unless you I keep saying that, but you guys keep hitting on things that actually matter by the character based on who they are. <laughs> everybody's unique. Oh my god. Uh, constitution saving throw. So you only take half damage as the acid starts burning through your ankles and the soles of your shoes. You take... I need to just dump some uh, dice on the table. I'm down, probably. I'm probably down. Yeah, I also, also, I don't think he had advantage on the roll, so he had a five. Oh, okay, so you yeah. take full damage. And another high ass roll, you take ten damage. Yeah, I'm down. It was three d four, which is in line with burning hands or other such things, but why it rolled a three three four? You guys, the dice hate you. You're down, Hermes. Is Hermes... The characters and the dice are already. Hermes, mm. are you still alive? No. No, I'm down. He's already damaged from oh. holding the, the, oh, the, the burning I would have been alive if As I was Hermes goes down. <laughs> so you guys are all unconscious, and you guys all wake back up. One second. I gotta find the right place. Back, wake back up in your beds in the dorm. Except for the people who attended. Wait, did, you guys were doubling up some, so it doesn't matter. So you guys all wake up back here. Um, door bar? Anybody who didn't attend that class, if you guys are attending a class today that is not one of these two, you can talk about the fact that you attended that class. But you guys are all back in the, in the dorm now. You have been carried back in uh, by golems, in fact. Clay golems. Okay, so presumably we could have taken another class while their class was occurring. As long as it was not combat, uh, melee combat, yes. Okay, I And as will... long as your schedule, of course, makes room for that. Okay, so uh, presumably I could have attended Secrets 
Yes, and... you just would then disallow prob the ability to probably take it. Um, well, I guess it wouldn't matter how often you take it with this format. So, yeah, it's just you won't be able to roleplay it in a given day if you take it. Okay, you want to, I'm gonna, uh, can I say I took ranged combat? You can, yeah. I, I took ranged combat, um, but, like, non-RP. So you yeah. can determine if I would have taken some damage, or... Well, no, no, you just take, if it's out of that, you just take your one point for that class. Just take your point. Okay. Obviously, everybody, please take one point for that class. Remind Hermes. And if Garen was right. supposed to be in there, remind Garen. I got a point for a class by getting stabbed. Yes, there would have been additional <laughs> benefits if you had survived. Each of you had miraculously bad things happen to you in all kinds of special, fancy, different ways. Hey, Hermes, make sure to take a uh, uh, class point. One last point? Yeah, you need to a make sure you... Point, yeah. yeah, you need to take one point in uh, combat magic. One combat magic last point. Those points <sighs> will matter at the end of the year. They're specific. Okay. Yep. What classes you attend does matter by what special abilities and things you unlock. I told you, this is ambitious. We'll see how it goes. Balance is going to be interesting, but... All right, so go ahead. You guys can role play as you will and decide when you're going to the next class or if you guys want to eat lunch, if you guys want to go explore. I can give you a few potential areas you could explore just because we don't have the full map made yet. Um, so, um, if, if they've kind of recovered a little bit, I'd like to gather everyone up and- Yeah, short rest book. recovery. Okay, so I'm gonna like, Walk around, gather everyone up, and call a kind of on-floor meeting. Where are we going for the meeting? Uh... I help you, Dorva. Wherever. Ow! You guys have a lot of rooms in here, so... Did anybody at all win? No. I didn't. I didn't either. I got singed. The teacher stabbed me through the stomach with my own sword. I I don't think I physically could have won in that class. Oh my Why god! Do you, <laughs> why do you use your sword? It's combat magic, not <laughs> melee combat! It, the reason why is because if you are not prepared to deal with a melee combatant, that is an issue. And also, I physically cannot cast spells. I am here to prepare myself against magic. Oh, buddy, uh, why'd you take in combat magic with this? My because again, you can cast spells. Well, because again, I want to be prepared to go against people who can cast spells. Fair, fair. It's not yeah, exactly well, like we're the only people that are going to be learning how to cast a firebolt. It seems my opponent was able to stop charms. My bird in my face. <laughs> Do we, any of us by chance know the names of these students? I mean, I, I, I know I, mine. I talked to her before she did some weird effect on me, and then I stopped breathing, which is yeah. weird. I've been able to hold my breath for a long time before. I didn't uh, ask. Lovisa uh, is the one. would have been rude to ask her name or his name. <laughs> oh, Ro Roby, you were up against, um... Yeah, the person you were up against was Dashira. Though he really didn't get a chance to fight Dashira, did he? Yeah, Dashira Based didn't even raise yeah. her weapon against you since you... <laughs> he raised his weapon against her, and that's how he <laughs> was, actually. Yeah. Nothing against you, big fella. And he pats you on the back. <laughs> uh, okay, well, everyone, I have... Uh... A bit of a thing to add to the book. So while we were all going to going to eat, I I happened to wander into the pantry, and there's a hidden door under under the pantry's linoleum. I hid it back up as best I could, and I kind of 
opened it up and almost died, but I didn't, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. And I think sometime at night, maybe we should gander off and explore it together? You said whatever tried to kill you is gone, right? Oh, it, yeah, it was a spell, and I had something... I think it might have been a first year who set it up. It was. It, it did not seem to be done right. Uh, but no, I, I believe it's gone. I mean, who knows what's down there? Maybe there's a dragon and we all die. But <laughs> it sure will be a great adventure. I just know that there's the door in some place unexplored down there. I... I mean this in the best possible way. I think that we should explore it, not only just for what we may find down there, but because if we know of a space like that that other people don't, that may be another thing that we can consider just in case something goes topside over here. I put it in the book. Be okay, and just, just a heads up, I didn't know anything really about this place. I managed to get just enough money to come here and was a little clueless. I'm learning, but I do owe a, another student the first relic or treasure I find. So if we happen to find any treasure down there, I did not find it. Ah. Unless, unless it really sucked, <laughs> in which case I found it. Okay. Gotcha. Understood. 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 You sure you ain't from a man? I really have it out of character. Determined exactly where the woods I grew up were. But I'm just going to say, I grew up out in the woods. It's, it, it's no place anyone's ever been. Yeah, yeah. It's just the way you talk to uh, remind me of home. Oh, oh, okay. Huh. So I've said my piece. Everyone can kind of decide what we do from here. I mean... Garen is not here, so we probably shouldn't go to... Or shouldn't switch to melee magic until he's back. Or melee combat, my bad. Remember, you have an hour and 20 minutes remaining to play with. Yes. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is going to be a very bad idea, but does anyone want to go look around campus grounds and maybe procure? Library, Majorina, uh, Greenhouse, a spa, um, there's a... See, those are the main ones that we have available to us right now. Uh, another idea. I don't think we've spent a whole lot of time exploring our corridors. Do we want to see if there's any books, scrolls left about? Anything that past students may have left or anything in here that may be interesting to us? I think That's I a good saw, idea. I think I saw a strange symbol on the floor in the gardens if anyone has any idea what it means it might be valuable to us you can take a look at it <laughs> Hermes will follow Whimsy and uh, Thorbar so yeah well. there's kind of this there. strange symbol left in the in the grass mm hmm Mm. Let me see. Uh, and when, when you will reach into a, a, his bag and start to look at one of his books to stare and uh, look at the symbol, and he's like, mm. "Would I check to see if I know any like religious knowledge about it? Maybe it's some form of like just symbol." That Roll religion. Used. Yeah. Oh, shit, I did not put that as a proficiency, but... It's 17 definitely regardless. not religious. Um, oh, this degree so is useless. I can either roll <laughs> arcane or nature on this, based on its what it looks like. If someone has arcana uh, proficiency, they can give me advantage on the roll. Um, but, uh... Nope. 
Is it, or if anyone has nature proficiency that I can get the advantage on that roll. Otherwise, I'll just have to roll flat. I just have um, religion. No, sorry. Okay. So it's then I will do an arcana check here. Yep. I rolled that to GM. My apologies. Um, but it's a 25. Uh, it's definitely some kind of magical circle. It is a permanent enchantment. You're not sure what it does, but what you're seeing are elements of, like, the growth spell for nature and also of the create water spell tied in there. But it's nothing you've seen in a book or seen cast before. It's remnants of a spell. It's an enchantment on the room. I'm assuming it has something to do with who creating this garden in here. I can spend more time with it identifying its na true nature, but uh, you're going to have to give me time. Oh, of course, it's just, again, I, I'm just curious what we may find, you know, all over this place. It, it already feels like just an entire corridor of wonders. Um... Mina, did we get kitted out with our equipment needed to cast spells? Yes, now, yes, you have just... whatever basic equipment you would need from the outfitter as of yesterday. Okay. Um, so you would see uh Whimsy will focus his uh his blade staff over the symbol and he's focusing specifically the pearl that's in now encrusted into it, as he's gonna spend his time uh casting the spell identify on the circle. But if someone wants to do anything else, that's going to take 11 minutes for Whimsy to cast. Do you so. have the material? Yeah, do coupon? you have the 100 gold pearl? And an that's what I just asked. That's what oh. I just asked if we got outfitted with our equipment needed to cast this our spells. I think you could be outfitted. Your initial outfitting, I would say... You can have 10 gold worth of components. Okay, then... So anything past that, at your discretion, at what you choose to take from that. Then no, I can't cast a... Yeah, it'd be a real shitty, uh, shitty, uh, money-making college if they only charge $50 and they give away hundreds of gold <laughs> worth of components. <laughs> well, it was 50... You, you said it was 50 gold to stay in. You said it was more than to get in. I thought you were saying. Yeah, it was like 100 yeah. gold for yeah. the first one tuition. But still, but yeah, yeah no, you didn't need yeah, to that's... accumulate those somehow. <sighs> okay, then I do not have uh, what I need to cast Identify or... Yeah, and some of these systems we're kind of figuring out as we go. Everything's not perfect. Continue. Well, I, I can, yeah. The only thing, other thing I have is detect magic. Mm -hmm. Um, but that would just identify the schools of magic that that circle is, not anything else beyond that. So yeah. You so could dedicate uh... time to studying it, in your off time. Yeah, Lindsay's just gonna sit there and start looking at it with yeah. tech magic up. And at this point, Lindsay's just n not paying attention to anything anyone says. Yeah, not everything this. in this university can be solved in an instant. Some stuff with repeated studying, repeated effort, repeated whatever may then reveal their secrets. So, uh, not everything's an instant reward. <laughs> I'm gonna check out this. I. Is this an aquarium or a pool? It looks like there's it's a pool fish in it. with oh. fish in it. Okay, that's a little different. Um, <clears throat> can I do an investigation check on these statues to see if there's anything interesting with them? Like maybe a trapdoor behind it or. How are you investigating are those statues? Um, just checking kind of the, like, the arms and stuff and seeing if there's any 
moving components or yeah roll investigation uh, you notice uh a pressure sensitive spell on the right shoulder of each of the statues okay so I'm gonna, yeah. You want someone um, else to press the other one at the same time? Um, I'd like to, if someone can find out like what school of magic they are, I'd rather not press them and then have like fire fireball out of their faces, like. Well, you just have to figure out how to get Whimsy to stop focusing on the circle now, because I just said he is focusing the circle yep. and knowing, uh, ignoring people now, no, as that... he is studying it. That's fine. And again, this, not everything will be solved. And I know we're kind of filling time until combat class, but I'm just trying to discover as many little secrets as I can, get them in our book, so that mm -hmm. over the next 30 days, we have things to explore and figure out. Want me to get uh, whims over there? I can, I can draw his attention, don't worry. Yeah, let's... So you can get a look, find out what magic's going on with that that you found. Like, let's. I I know nothing about magic. I'll be the first to admit it. Like something, there's definitely something here. But I can definitely make call whimsy from here without having to move. Give it a shot. The projecting my voice. Um, you guys, I'll be back in one minute. I just yep. gotta use the bathroom. No problem. All right, what are you doing, Hermes? I'm gonna. <clears throat> I guess I can cast it, right? How do I cast this? Yeah, click the description, and I think in the yeah. <laughs> Now you have to yell three times as loud as normal. Yell three times as loud as normal? Yeah, you gotta yell for Whimsy. What are you saying to Whimsy? Add volume. Come on. Oh. Hey, Whimsy! <laughs> That's it. Hey, Whimsy. Still, you don't hear any response. All right, Vinny. Call. Your turn. All right. He walks over to Whimsy and, he, and he's like snapping in front of his eyes. Hey! Come on. At that point, he re he he snaps out of it and looks up at you. He's like, "Can I help you?" <laughs> uh, I, I hate to bother your whims. I really do, but mm -hmm. there's some magic in the room with the pool. That Dorba mm -hmm. found. Supposedly, it's triggered by some pressure sensitive stuff on the shoulders. Uh, we wanted to, you to take a look at it. Well, you still got your detect magic, you know. Well, I can just keep casting it, but yeah, I can go over there. Thank you. <laughs> Where did you want me to look over here? Uh, I think it was the statues Dorba said. Nova? Where am yes. I looking? The shoulder of the sta- the right shoulder of the statues. Yeah, he's Okay, aware. so as Mimsy steps in, he's- Detect Magic is up and he can sense the, the schools of magic that are on these- coming from these shoulders. Amaturgy. No, sorry. That's, that's what that, I that, said. That, sorry. Transmutation. That actual spell. Transmutation. <laughs> that's, like, that's an actual spell. Transmutation. Um, I'm getting transmutation vibes from the those spell those shoulders. Um. Is there anything else you wish for me to do about them? Door by, he's getting transmutation vibes. You want him to do anything else while he's in here? Is Dorbar dead? Dorbar? I think he might be muted. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, do we, like, as a, it's a group decision. Do we want to try and push on the plates if it's not, if it doesn't seem like destruction magic or like a charm or something, like... I guess it could turn us into something, but... But, is it transmutation for us, or for the... 
kind of gestures. That's a good question. I don't know. I can, I can, do you want me to spend time staring at these instead? I think these are more important than, because the, the one in the garden is probably more likely, um, just what just, maintains uh, the garden, like helps it grow. But we have absolutely no idea what these things do. Okay, let me, let me take a look at them then. Um... And so Whimsy will once again, uh, I'll roll Arcana on these. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, not as good this time around. Twelve. Uh, it's a, all you can tell is that it's a fifth level spell. Oh, it isn't the fifth, fifth level magic coming from these statues. It's a transmutation spell at the fifth level, Mark. That's what you're dealing with. Oh. Do you want me to stay in here and study these instead? I think that could be valuable. I mean... Are you sure you can gain anything else out of this? If I spend time in analyzing it before uh, activating it, then yes, but... You guys are very cautious. It's, you know exactly it's, why we're cautious. It's either, it's either that, or you press. You can. I can press the button and see what it does. I. I. I what? Like, what is a fifth? I don't. I don't know what fifth level means. Like, it's, it's a not, powerful spell. Yeah. So, like, I don't want us to push it, and then we all turn to stone. That. that then would step be out of the room and let me alone to press it. Okay. There's two buttons. Oh, then someone else have to push the same the switch at the same yeah, time. Yeah, I can climb up the wall and do it. Dormar runs up away. <laughs> he climbs up and he's hanging I, sort of I, yes. over the pressure plate. Just let me know when and I'll push the thing. Mm -hmm. Um, on the count of three. One, two, three. And Whimsy presses the, his shoulder button. Vinny does so at the same time. The both of the statues spring to life as the stone takes on a, a fluid quality. Whimsy, yours gets up and walks over to each of the three spouts. And in turn touches each of them and each of them begins to steam. As you can see that hot water is now coming out of each of them, increasing the temperature of the tub. Vinny, yours goes up and walks over right here and lifts open a compartment, pulls out two clean towels, puts it back down and drapes the towels over the backs of the chairs that are lo the lounge chairs there, and then they both return to their places and return to being inanimate. Vinny climbs down from the ceiling. Wow! Well, Glad we figured that out. To guess. That was uh, an animate object. It's weird that one of them turns the water hotter and the other one doesn't turn it colder, don't you think? Well, that's not the point. Okay. But, I mean, yeah, but still, I, I'm just saying things come in pairs. They activate at the same time, though. So if one turned the water hotter and the other turned the water colder, then the water would just be the same temperature it was before it started. I think those fish are getting cooked. And Dorbar mm. peeks his head back around the corner, like, hey, is that anyone dead? No, I'm <laughs> dead. Okay, okay. The world's okay. most dangerous bath. That's what the episode should have been called. <laughs> I'm dead. It's just not alive. Playing with water. It's Dorbar, I am a ghost. <laughs> we're playing with water, but we're still playing with fire. Come back next time for the hottest game of D&D. &D. <laughs> but... Uh. Did it seem to affect the fish? N no, this fish is swimming around like normal. Interesting. <clears throat> Out of character, is Grind still 
Garen is just missing right now, so he's just taking a nap. Ah, okay, fair. He had a real taxing day. So far. He, he, he stubbed his toe and he tripped and spilled his ice cream. He just needs to calm down for a little bit in his room. <laughs> I would do that if I stubbed my toe and spilled my ice cream. Nice. Room. That's horrible. Yep. So what else are you guys doing in this wonderful? You're got like I said, your your even your dormitory is a whole host of different things going on. Yeah, well, that's... Vinny, gonna walk. I have to zoom out over to the room with the crystals. Mm-hmm. He's gonna take a look at those. See if there's anything he might be able to do to deduce about them. Urbar will follow. I'm gonna. What? How I... are you going to investigate them with what? What? Let's kill. Uh, I'll do Arcana. Not exactly good, but. Some... You can tell that there's something special about them. There's some magical property to them, but you're not quite sure what. I gotcha. They look like Fall with Arcana, that's all you get from it. Alright. Hmm. Uh, some like special bosses. Crates. Or are they like back pallets? Back. Uh they are crates. I'm gonna start looking through crates. Uh figuring out if there's anything in any of them. Uh there are in those crates are just a bunch of of uh ceramic uh jugs tall ceramic jugs any like writing on them any there's no writing uh and they are sealed with mud at the top not like mud mud but like you know the mud that you put on and it hardens okay so there might be things in the jugs yeah i can i'm just gonna start smashing jugs Real quick, I had a where and uh, how? I have to go real quick. I gotta cut, take care of a couple of family things. Yeah, no problem. All right, see you guys. See you guys. Yep, have a great day. I'm. I mean, I'll just take the first one and smash it on the floor. What's that? Insert. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Title card. The gang dies. <laughs> <laughs> the gang dies. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, so you guys get to press the magic golems, but I can't find out what's in this jar. So you I'm, smash I'm... it into the ground, and it just it, a white liquid just pours out of it. Like, not white, clear liquid just pours out of it and starts spreading across the floor. And it That's reeks, why. whatever it is. It just smells as if you just, like, left tuna fish under, like, in, like, a hot room for, like, a week. Quick, check for an anime figure. <laughs> no! Okay. No! Does, is there... Shady! <laughs> is there any... Other than mm. the smell, is there anything identified? Like, is there any physical matter in there? Uh, nature? Uh, do, 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 do. Mm. Sorry. Uh, uh, it's some kind of mineral water. Do you know what that is? It's it's mineral water. It's a little old mineral water, but I'm assuming Really? I, I'm a, I'm assuming that the crystals are used to make what whatever's in these pots. So now we we well, okay, we don't know, but that's probably what's going on. Can I Roll a survival roll to see if I know if this mineral water would be safe to drink or have any positive or negative characteristics. Sure. 
If you drink that, I'm bullying you the rest of the year. <laughs> he drank old water. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> go one of two ways. All right, let's hear it. What happens? I don't. Uh, you think that it's actually uh, extremely beneficial, and it's actually going to help uh, slow down the aging process and uh, restore uh, any youthful vigor you may lose due to trials and tribulations. It's kind of like a miracle serum, as far as you're concerned. The, the stuff is a miracle serum. Like, the, the, look like at just those spread it all over people. yourself. Just like to reinvigorate your skin. It's a great moisturizer. Yeah, I had like, yeah, I put it in my hair, <laughs> hoping that it'll help my hair sh shimmer better. Does, is there any negative effects that I'm feeling? Or... Uh, tomorrow morning when you wake up, you're gonna have to role play just having some, like everything on you being a, just a little bit like crunchy, like as if you like um, like if you get like a really briny salt brew or something that like you were covered in and then you dried off and the salt was left behind. It's not salt, but like the same sort of feel. That's what you're gonna be waking up to. Dope. All right, this is perfect. And you're probably gonna probably be throwing up tomorrow morning. You're not like grievously grievously ill, but you've probably got at least mild food poisoning. You know, like you went to the Renaissance Fair and the chicken wasn't quite cooked well enough. You know, Doba, you you do you. Uh, I <laughs> I am all right. I do not want to be putting any mystery liquid near me or anything like that. I've been around the world. <laughs> I, He's from I, Jersey. I, I've talked to many elves, and the elves always claim that these mineral tonics solve all these problems. It, it's an ancient thing, and I mean, at this school, who would leave around jugs of toxic liquid? I'm going to be honest, the elves claim a lot of things. I, I think right? you're missing out. I'll just miss out on those one then. So, um, I'm sorry. Has he taken a sip of this yet? No. He, he, yeah. Prove it. Or unless you're DM stating that with a one, I would have. But I no, you can. I, you don't have to. Yeah. yeah. You you want us to drink it? And take the first sip. I I'm not telling him to drink it. I'm saying yeah. that it's a miracle skin cure, and your hair will be great, and you should just cover your, cover yourself with it. Then do it. I'm I'm young and not good. He has he has done it. We, oh oh well, uh, I, I'm gonna give that a couple of days. If you develop any lesions, I told you so. <laughs> yeah um, I'm I'm all right. I I am still young. Uh, I don't need any miracle cures just yet. So, um, th these scrolls and books right here, mm -hmm. do they have any information on the crystals or the pot or the symbols on the floor? Intelligence? Do... Uh, it's, it's describing some kind of great or terrible. some kind of experimenting uh, to do with creating crystals, uh, and there's something uh, you're not quite sure because you can't understand all of the uh, science behind it. But from what you gather, um, they're trying to create crystals with a special property that will allow them to either do, make, or be better about something. Um, so I'm gonna let everyone know. Lab. Hey, if you look at these menu, it explains the the crystal. I, I don't, whatever language this is, part of it I can read, part of it I, I can't, but it might be something that we can continue examining over the next month, because it sounds like if we can determine what these crystals are, they, they could be really valuable to us. 
I guess uh, I'll. I mean, I'll I'll take a look at it. Vinny's gonna look at the paper. Mm hmm. It'll probably uh, be intelligence still, yeah. Gotcha. I am going to use Tides of Chaos. I don't think to... there's a science. Yeah, there's not. I'll I'll use Tides Are of Chaos. Are you still Bayland? To give Sorry. me Bayland? B E O L A N. <laughs> That's what Safe Falls used to be. Wait, B E what? B E O L A N. Oh. That's uh, Olford and Safe Falls combined because Alvin took them over. There we go. <laughs> uh, that is another 19. Do I gain anything else? Uh, nothing team? more than what he got on from it. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, uh, I can't seem to make anything more of it, but you know, you do you. Uh, I I'm glad though that we're learning about this stuff. Good on you, Dova, even though you uh, spilled that liquid everywhere. You, you it mean... still smells horrendous in this yeah. room, by the way. This is. He, this he was is... holding back the urge to just. Constantly. He's hack up a hair. <laughs> this, is, this is trash the night before you're supposed to take it out. Oh. Whimsy, uh -huh. all the way in the garden, hints of the smell are starting to make their way throughout the whole apartment as he, as he starts to detect the scent he just starts going he just taps his his blade staff into the ground a couple times releasing prestigitation to to add a, a more uh floral scent into the air so that he doesn't deal with the smell he's prepared for dorm life I'm assuming this is the kitchen. I'm gonna have to like, come back with a can of axe. It is. Yeah, it's your yeah your kitchen area. Mm. Any like books of recipes or anything I can find? Uh, Looks there like... is a re a, ha a three quarters completed recipe for cookies on the dine on the main table. Uh, dope. It does call for Eye of Newt, however. What kind of cookies need mustard seed? I do like Eye of Newt cookies, but... So what are you guys doing? You guys have about 40 minutes left. 45 minutes. Well, I, I can't do the class unless we do like a solo thing. Because I don't think anyone else has melee combat. Well, I mean, at this point, we don't know if Garen's coming back. If you want to do melee combat, we can. Dorbar's that... going to melee combat as well. Alright, oh, yeah. is that okay with y'all? Yeah, we can either do that or we can each take 20 minutes. You could minutes visit one and... of the POIs as well that I gave you. Or yeah, you guys yeah, could decide that you guys don't want to live attend a second class, skip to the night, and go into the room. I don't know. I kind of want that class point. <laughs> well, you get the class point either way. You, you just get, get bonuses when, if yeah. you attend it. Well, you guys got no bonuses for the last one. Because you guys all, because we all failed. Class. But if, you, but if the class goes well, you can get special things from the class, or you can get special information from the students that are in the class if you talk to them. There's different benefits to attending in person, but you get a class point regardless if you put that class into your schedule that day. Because remember, there's a dichotomy of what you do in-game is just what parts of your day are we role-playing, but what your day is is something you're doing behind the scenes in Discord. Okay. Yeah, so you'll still get the class point if you, since you slated in combat magic. I know, um, but I'm thinking about just like what other bonuses could be there, combat. and I'm mainly combat, maybe. Yeah. I, don't know. I feel like we might be able to get some secrets, not like specifically combat related. We secrets, could always take combat but... melee combat next week. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, you could take melee uh, combat every single day, five, seven, seven, like five days a week. And, like, just ignore every other class and have, like, combat 700 points max. in melee combat. You might fail every other class, but... 
No, no, no I'll, oh. I'll do that as an off-screen thing. <laughs> yeah, I think if since we discovered it today, in case someone is going to reset up that trap, it's probably best that we do the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm down for that. I'm a, so say like uh, when everyone else goes to their second class and is if kind of do. out of the yeah, yeah. Um, but then we take that time to go to uh, the secret room. I'm we can do that. nighttime. We can do nighttime because Lindsay still wants to go to his second class. It's just, but yeah, yeah okay, we can do it in the under the watchful eyes of the moon. Yeah. Okay, so we all just take the point of our second class and then yeah, um, role play like role we play all take going into the then. yeah. I'm down for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you should probably all out loud say what our second class is so meta knows what our second class will be logistics um, alchemy secrets and stealth or whatever it's called okay yeah make sure you write down your points for them all right am i are we just putting in the points for the class we're doing out of it yeah, the yeah, class, that's why we're yeah, just announcing yeah. it, which one we're doing, right. so that Meta knows what we're doing. Yeah. That's fine. All right, now I have one point in melee and magic combat. Dope. All right, let me move you guys over to the dining hall at night, which is empty and abandoned. Nothing. There's no sound. The hallways are quiet. What are you guys doing? Why is there like never anything around here to make noise? It's unsettling. All right, Doorbar, where where'd you find this thing? So yeah, I'll just lead him up to the where it is. Um, and while I'm going through, can I mm -hmm. check and make sure there are no other students who are following us or coming behind us or something? Uh, perception. I'm proficient in it, so I can give you advantage if you would like. Oh, okay. Do you want me to re-roll it? Yeah, just re-roll it. Okay. Advantage. Perception. Well, you, know, you don't have to add advantage. Just re-roll it single. Just roll we'll a normal. Just two. roll a normal one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because you already rolled once, you just need to roll another dice. Yep. Ooh, oh. nobody is following your certain this night. Nobody is yet suspicious of you guys. Mostly cool. because you guys all got knocked out in your class and nobody's really got a high estimation of you at this point. <laughs> See, that's the that's tactical the failure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm four parallel universes ahead of you. Okay, uh, so we're back here. I'm going to pull up the linoleum and reopen the door. Absolutely. Hmm. Well, if it's trapped, then that means that someone has been here before. Must. Not sure how long ago, though. As you guys find a ladder descending into a carved out area, what almost looks like a cave with a dirt floor, with barrels, a couple of tables filled with books and scrolls, and some uh, flasks and other devices on a large table with notes scattered all across the floor and I will bigify you here in a second. Oh my god, we're so tiny! <laughs> this must have belonged to giants! <laughs> Look at this. What wondrous troves. I'm How I'm really short. <laughs> okay, just making sure. <laughs> oh, this is uh, we're really big on this map, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be checking these books over here, sorry. I'm move my. I'm sorry. I keep moving myself. I'm like ah. There we go. How That's tall is right. Roby, by the way? Uh, Roby is six three because I refuse to have a short king unless they are a tiefling. I am. Vinny is five eight. While he's wearing his boots. Hey, so. door doorbar is real short. Mm -hmm. I don't remember exactly what height I picked, but. I'm two foot three. Is whimsy. It's all good. We're relatively close to sizes. So, you guys, what are you doing in this room? Um, looking at those books. 
I'm gonna start looking through these crates. I'm our official crate searcher. Yep. Let me. Let me pull this oh. up real quick. What kind of notes and scrolls do we have up here? I'll have a look at what's on this table. These what look like boxes of some kind. Mm -hmm. But they might. Those also look like. Oh, though that one looks like. Yeah, those both look like box. That one. Yeah. Yeah. Like the gremlins box. Uh, Dorbar, in your crates are copies of a lot of student transcripts, basically, and like any inf and just like scribbled notes in the margins about personality traits, about common behaviors, about just basically everything you could possibly learn to know about about a student. And you got about fifteen students worth of files in those crates. And are they new students, like current students or past students? You don't know. Okay. Vinny? Aaron's back. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be gone for King Mink at most. No I worries. I started fooling you, bro. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Alright, what do I find? Vinny, you find a lot of scrolls of disguise self, create illusion, uh, and uh polymorph well ain't that special is that in both boxes or just one in both gotcha sky what was the third one disguise self polymorph and create illusion yep okay whimsy you're checking the table mm -hmm. whimsy yes you find um, a bunch of uh, alchemical notes, um, a spell scroll with a spell that you do not recognize on it, and uh, five, four, uh, four vials of a sparkly powder in red, green, blue, and yellow. About a gram Ooh. each. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, Garen, Garen is, uh, Garen, Garen can kind of tag along. Garen, you're, Garen, the, the ketchup, uh, um, fuck, who are you? Because you're not type your, your doorbar, doorbar found a secret door in the kitchen door room, and you guys are all checking it out in the cover of night. You guys all just kind of hand wave that you went to melee combat, I think, for today. That should more or less catch you up, though. Right. Yeah. You can obviously catch catch up with the VOD later. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Sorry about that. No problem. Oh. So you said that there was a the the four different liquids, the four different powders, the alchemic uh supplies, and the scroll that I do not recognize. Correct. The al okay. the alchemical supplies are currently bubbling away in the flask. It's dripping liquid into the smaller flask oh okay and then there's also the alchemy notes as well yeah that's what that was okay let me so let me go here um vials what color were the vials again red green blue and yellow red green blue yellow glitter vials So Dorbar is going to grab just one of the scrolls. Mm -hmm. um, we'll call it Create Illusion. Okay. And he's going to throw it in his backpack along with the student notes he grabbed. Absolutely. Hey, uh... I'd be careful about taking these uh, scrolls. We could just take the whole box if we want to. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah, you think, think whoever had this would know if we took a whole box? Shouldn't we just be a little bit more cautious about our tracks? Well, that depends on how old anything in this room is. 
I, yeah, it? that needs verification, but we should still at least try to cover our tracks just in case they are recent. I know. Um, does anyone have any scroll paper so we can write a facsimile of the Create Illusion spell? Doesn't have to work, just has to look like it. Yeah, Although they any... have paper. Hmm. All right, who wants to take a crack at writing that down? I'm, uh, I've written no, my own spells into my spell book before. I, I it will be a combination speaking. deception and arcana roll. Because also remember, it's not just the spell. Doesn't it also have to at least pseudo match up with their style? Uh, yeah, that's yeah. why it's an. It's you have to if essentially if. If Whimsy has an hour, he can start spending the time to decrypt the the algorithm that he uses. But beyond that, it it it's gonna take a bit. I can um, help you with the deception roll. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna check what's in this little bag. Uh, six silver pieces. Oh, that's not even really. Take it! Take it! We need money! You do need money. Alright, I'll pick it up. So I'll do deception. That's 15, not great. Um, and then that arcana. Jesus Christ, hold on. Gonna pay for that reroll? <laughs> I'm not dealing with another hmm. nat one like that. <laughs> You've um, gotten a lot of nat ones today. There have been a lot of nat ones today. And all the net 20s, Ooh. I'm pretty sure, have been doorbar. <laughs> Doorbar's I hoarding them. One too. Yes, but you've also gotten like six net 20s. Not that many. Oh, for Double fuck's sake. Stuff. Way, way better. Um. Yeah, when he immediately looks at what he's creating, he's like, what? Yeah, like you create it, but it's not great. Like... I, I bought an inspiration to bump that up just a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, roll an inspiration on that arcana. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. So that's a that's a thirteen. Or like 12, it might after. pass at first glance if somebody was rifling through them real quickly, but if anybody actually took a moment to actually look at what it was, it's not gonna pass. But like it's not gonna quick... pass because regardless. Yeah. Well, but like the goal is to make them think that nothing was taken. Obviously, they'd realize once they tried to use it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like in a, if someone was just rifling through, but if anybody was like actually like took more than a second to look over it, then it would stick out. Uh, there's so much interesting things here, and we can't take any of it. Uh, there's nothing... We'd have this to find out that how... that doesn't old... exist is right here! Well, I mean... You you could take it. <laughs> let, me, let me take a look at the scroll, and I'll... I might be able to... I'm not sure about the magic stuff, but I, can, I might be able to make it look uh, deceptive enough. Okay. Well, I mean, if you, yeah, if you can help me with the magic, I can do the, uh, the... Magic is, yeah, like, magic is my expertise. I can do that. As a powder, I'm not sure how much of I can actually allow. I also have, uh, de I have proficiency in deception, so I can help you with both. I would, ah. I would let you roll to get, yeah, split the task, but you would take a minus one on each side of the roll. Hmm. So you would eat. So, but just for the additional complication of trying to coordinate a forgery, but I would allow you to each do each half of it. So. Gotcha. And we would we have advantage from the other helping us with each half? You can still advantage yourselves if somebody else helps you, but you can't help each other. Uh, okay. So Gary yeah, could help you forge, and uh, Roby could help Whimsy. Uh, I know. I'm just yeah. saying. For example, for, or Roby could help just... Whimsy magic it. But you couldn't. Vinny can't help Lindsay and vice versa. Gotcha. I mean, if you need help with the uh, four, oh, actually, I'm terrible at forgery. Never mind. I thought that I took that. Hmm. Um, question. Yeah. Did 
everyone see me grab the student wreck? Because I wasn't trying to hide it. Um, That's player Whimsy decision if they saw it. He did, Whimsy was oblivious to it. He was staring at everything on the table. Yeah, Vinny was probably still just rifling through the scrolls, checking what all of them were to make sure that they were all the same spells. Yep. Oh. Okay. Cool. I'm going to kind of check some of these barrels. See if there's any while well, they're doing that. I'm just looking around, trying to figure out what's down here. Same, uh, honestly. Uh, you open one of them, and you can't see what's inside of it. It's just deep and inky black, but it smells... It smells like a funeral home. Yeah, I'm, I can... I've already gone down that road once, so I'll put that back and... Put the top back on it and come over. Yeah, I can do helping. And like a funeral in, home, in, not like rotting bodies, like the that that formaldehyde smell. Oh, okay. Does anyone else have deception proficiency, or is it just? I don't. Maybe. I'm not sure. No. Yeah, so if we, we're not, essentially, since we don't, neither of us, no one else has proficiency in, uh, either, uh, Deception or Arcana, we're gonna have to either roll flat between the two of us, or, um... It's still better than either one of you rolling both of them for yourself, probably. True. Dang it, I already or, used my Tides of Chaos, too, so... <laughs> If only. If only. Uh, um. Yeah, so I can, we can either do again the proficiency advantage in one roll and then flat in the other, or we can do one in one. I have a six in deception. Yeah, I have six in arcana and four in deception, so. All right, I'll, uh, then still, even though it's minus one, it's better. Yeah, five and five, yeah. yeah. It's five and five, then. All right, I'll make the deception check. There we go. Nine. <laughs> That's a roll. Thirteen. <laughs> yeah, about the exact same as, as the last one. It, yeah, no, it is the exact same as the last one. Like, I don't know how, but working together, you guys produced a perfect replica of all of the exact Ooh. same mistakes that were made on the first copy that you tried to copy the other spell because you got a 24 combined on both of them. Uh... Is that just another scroll? <laughs> you just made another one for this guy? <laughs> well, I we're trying to replicate the spell that is not recognized. Yeah, the new ones. But yeah, but like all the same mistakes, the jitters, yeah. the bad handwriting, <laughs> the like smears and like stuff. All the same like mistakes that Whimsy you made by yourself, you guys made together as a group on this second attempt at the new one. At the, yep. the, the uh, new spell. Well, um, uh... That's embarrassing. So, do we, uh, what do we do in this case? The other one could pass. This one, I'm not sure how much of a look would be taken, if any, because we once again don't know how old anything in this room is. I don't know how old it is in... There's nothing that really states an idea of how old anything here is. Does any... Is there any documentation down here that shows what date it was from um if anyone found anything that says anything about time that'd be really helpful right now yeah um the student records the student records date from today all the way back to 10 years ago that is interesting hmm. So, yeah, I'll let them know that I found student records and that it includes current students, but also old students, so it's probably not used by a student. 
Okay. Then we know that they've at least come down here recently. So we know that we can't just say, Oh, well, it hasn't been used, so no one will miss it. Oh. Yeah. Cough, you've already broken wards. Cough, so... There's oh, yeah. a level of discoverability already. Mm. Well... I love that you guys are having to make these debates and decisions, though. <laughs> it's a, okay. it's a mm. fun setup for D and D. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean, if the ward is already broken, that could mean a few things. Okay, the ward's broken. Someone made it inside. The ward's broken. Someone opened the door. But well, we, we know the everything... ward's broken. Doorbar got hit by it. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> if we. Oh, you mean like the people coming to it? Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, it, if if they come to it and they see the wards broken, but everything is still the same inside, they might assume that someone broke the ward and ran off. Yeah, that is an assumption. And you but said the magic it's... was poor. Yes, was it? That's what you said, Dorba. Just I think the, like I felt something cold, like trying to grab on me or something but then it didn't do you think and when you said it Vinny that there's probably not a student it might be someone outside of the student do you think Garen what do you be... think oh uh, well oh I don't really know I think it might be what if it would <laughs> oh, go ahead Oh, I I really don't know. I'm just kind of a little bit lost, <laughs> like out of character. I, it might be the Glesso. Uh, out of character, Garen. Basically, Dorbar discovered a trap door. You went down. You've discovered some weird alchemical stuff and spells and stuff. Uh, you guys are now down there in the middle of the night, deciding. How, do you guys want to take some of the stuff back with you? Is that going to be too suspicious? Are people going to be suspicious that stuff's missing? But you've already triggered the ward that was on the door trap door. So, like, people are already probably going to know you were here, and you have records that we're dating to today, so people have been here somewhat recently, so you guys are kind of deciding, what are you going to do, what are you going to take, not take, how are you going to cover your tracks before you go back to bed for the night? Alright, um, well, I say for now, if there's a war, maybe, I think we should leave most stuff here and just leave and check on it later. There's probably be I, nothing I, down I, here, though, there. That is pretty wise, Garen. Hey, uh, like, if we're, if we're in the middle of forging stuff and someone comes down here, what are we going to say to get out of this? Yeah, that's a good one. Well, Wims, I'll leave it up to you if you want to grab that scroll. I am going to make my leave, and I'm going to do it very quickly. And Vinny is going to cast Expeditus Retreat. And now, Meta, I get to ask you something. I used Tides of Chaos earlier in the day, and yeah. I'll, I'll link that. And I, I have a feeling Also, do you want a correction to your pronunciation or not? What was that? Uh, Leglisa? Is that... it Leglisa? No, uh, expeditious. Oh. Oh! Sorry, I just did not read that right. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was just, some people I, get I irritable when you correct them, some people don't, so... <laughs> Alright, um, but Tides of Chaos, which I used earlier and haven't taken a long rest, means that the DM can ask me to just roll on the Wild Magic Surge table without rolling the d20 after I cast the spell. Yeah, would you like ahead. me to all... Also, I, I'll ask in advance, would you like me to just always do that if I cast... A yeah. leveled spell and have used all right yeah i'm all for the sure. chaos thank you let's see what i get 77. Uh oh let's check this <laughs> what did you just do, <laughs> what did you just do? <laughs> okay um i think it's my own bad about to happen on sec, let me let me see. I kind of want to kill this. Let's see. What save? Did you is just it? 
fucking cast if you cast fireball centered the second, on yourself, no, it's, it's the cool. second it's wild magic that. sorcerer of this campaign. It's not don't worry, it's not fireball. <laughs> it is not fireball, I can tell you that much. Burning hands. <laughs> Meteor it's shower. Polymorph. Yeah, it's polymorph. Uh, and oh I fail, God. I turn into a sheep. I am going to make my escape. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Can she climb ladders? Uh, no! <laughs> I'm just. How insane. long are you. In, how long are you, Polymorph? Um, for an hour, or unless someone reduces me to zero hit points. But that I'm is for the in, in character, for that's for people to know. Oh. Yeah. Or for people to not is, know. Aaron is going to look very confused for picking up the sheep and trying to, like, climb the ladder. Matt. Like, one hand. Uh, is there a check I'm trying to do to like, climb the ladder with like one hand while holding on to a... Uh... Uh -oh. Wait, who was it that turned himself into a sheep? Vinny. Vinny. That hold on to Vinny while holding on to Vinny. Sorry, one needed... sec. Sorry, okay. everything's reloading. Give me a moment. Okay, sorry. Everything is broken. Because I got ambitious. Goji, you should have control of that now. Yep. Okay, you are a sheep. Now, what did you have to say? Sorry. <laughs> it was Garen. Garen. Garen asked, yep. is there a special check he needs to do in order to uh, pick uh, Vinny up as a sheep to clamp and clamp up the ladder? Strength? Well, is, are you Strength, letting him? Yeah. Well, he, there's really no other way to get up the ladder. How so, big? Yeah. How much does a sheep weigh? And does is that within your carry limit? It's be his lift capacity, which is double your carry capacity. Well, he'd have to carry you up the ladder, uh, so. Uh, yeah. So you need yeah, your carry capacity. Weighs, yeah, ninety-nine to three hundred fifty pounds. So. Yeah, I I have a twenty in strength, and I'll what's my carry capacity? Where is it? Uh, it is 15 times your strength bonus, so... So you have 300 as your carry capacity. Yeah. Vinny, are ever, you a fat uh, sheep or a normal-sized sheep? Probably a normal-sized sheep. G Vinny himself isn't all that big. Then yeah, you can carry him up the ladder. <laughs> Come on, Vinny. Like, we're actually uh, back in the room. <laughs> or maybe two of the magic kicks they can probably sort this out. Man, man, man. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys return to the... Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take him to the dorm. I'm just gonna assume that you know, and we'll just wait this out and see what happens. Do we return to the dorm? Yeah, um, I'm yep. gonna... I'm gonna have to try and relock the door and re... stealth it. I don't know if I need another stealth roll or if we can just use the first one. Um, just doom continuous. You would need to to. No, because you opened it up again. You need a new hide, so adjust that in your sheet, and then you would also um you can just lock it on your way out. I mean, yeah. Okay. Lindsay is going to get rid of both of the the copies because they're yeah. so poorly made, and he's just like, no. Um, but if anyone's paying attention, Lindsay does pick up the unknown scroll. All right. Heading to the surface. Okay, the stealth roll is now at sixteen. Okay, cool. Oh look, it's Godzilla sheep. Um. Okay, so we have everybody back at the dorms. We will have three loot points for everybody. 
Uh, because you used your knight, the only RP you're allowed is within the confines of your dormitory. For the between now and next session, uh, since you spent like your nighttime activity exploration on this in session. So you can role play the time up to that if you guys want to do any additional work there or discover anything additional from inside of here. Um, sure. good. I'm going to retire to my room and spend kind of as much energy as I have starting to run through the students mm -hmm. by date. Um, but I don't just want to do the newest ones. And I know we can contact each other about what I find over the next week, but that's what I'm going to start doing mm -hmm. is going through all those profiles. Awesome. Perfect. Sounds good. Yeah, um, take oh, take yeah. seven points of um, NPC background. Uh, Just put a stat somewhere, like a resource stat, and you will be able to use those at later points. Basically, you'll be able to use those. Ask if you can use them when there's an NPC that you need to know, want, uh, know background information about. I'll let you roll, and if you roll well enough, probably like luck or something... Uh, then uh, you'll be able to spend a point to learn about that student. All right. Well, then what we'll do is we have the other party starting their first day of classes here in an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, we have another session next weekend. Um, the weekend of the 10th and the weekend of the... Uh, um, fuck, what is it? So that's the 10th, the 8th, and the 16th, we will not have d and I'll be in Ireland, um, and then we should resume as normal after that. Thanks everyone for watching, thanks everyone for playing, and we will see you next week.